Hey everybody, so today I'm going to show you how to do this glitch you're seeing in the background in Max Payne 2. This glitch works on PC, Xbox, and probably PlayStation as well. So to do this glitch, you can have any weapon out and you want your secondary weapon to be the melee slot, which is the default. And to get the best results from this glitch, you want to have the Ingram or the dual Ingrams out. So then you melee with whatever weapon you have out and then you quick save at a certain time. And here's the timing for the quick save for all of the one handed weapons. You want to save when you see his left hand coming forwards towards the side. And here's the timing for all of the two handed weapons. Here you want to quick save when you see Max's elbow reach its furthest point back. So once you make the quick save, you want to pull out the weapon that you want to make OP. Then you want to load the quick save you made. And if you got the timing right on the quick save, you'll see that you have the weapon you wanted to make OP in Max's right hand. So now that you know how to do the glitch, let me tell you how to use this glitch. So now you need to start shooting, and you'll notice that the weapon in Max's right hand will have the fire rate of the first weapon, but all of the other properties of the weapon that you want to make OP. Plus, you'll have infinite ammo. However, you need to make sure that you don't stop shooting, or it will cancel the glitch. Rolling with Max also cancels the glitch. Shoot dodging does as well. Entering any cutscene while shooting will also cancel the glitch. However, if you have the glitch active but you aren't shooting, some cutscenes won't ruin the glitch. But some cutscenes, like this one on Part 1 Chapter 2, will. Interacting with anything while shooting will also cancel the glitch. And meleeing at any time while the glitch is active, even when not shooting, will cancel the glitch. And that's all you really need to know for the OP weapon glitch. If you have any questions about this glitch, let me know in the comments and I'll reply to you. And uh, if you could let me know how you liked the video, if you liked the editing, if you didn't like the editing, and what you liked, what you didn't like, that would be great. So yeah, that's about it guys, so thanks for watching and uh, have a good one and I'll see you in the next video.